Okay, it's time for another spot session, and this time we are doing Silmar. I think that's how you say it, Silmar 9, which is referring to these steps here, which is a thing in real life. I'm not sure about these ones at the bottom, but basically starting from here to this bit. And also because we didn't include it last time when we did the Carlsbad video, also include this section because it's kind of linked together and I can think of a few ideas or gaps that kind of use both. And also, if you haven't seen any of the other videos yet, I've did the Hollywood 16 and 12 as a video, a spot session video with trying to do as many original things as I could. And also one on Carlsbad, which includes that curved rail as well. A lot of weird things which you wouldn't normally assume would be doable on these spots. I kind of try and dig out all the weird stuff. That's what entertains me. So uh, yeah, enough talk. Let's see if we can do something creative on this stuff. Nice and simple start. Kind of doing what you'd expect for a spot like this. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going for the sake of it. What? This rail's always really hard to hit. Yeah. I figure we should start off orthodox because you know, that's kind of the obvious thing to do. Hit both rails. That last one's really short though. That bounce kills me, especially on like flat 180s. Like, especially down gaps, it always seems to bounce a lot for some reason. I'm not sure if it's just me. Yeah, it's especially noticeable on 180s. Like, we'll probably do on here and the same thing will happen. Not always, but you get a lot of bounce with those for some reason. I tend to find if you add a flip, it actually flattens out for whatever reason. Like it'll land solid. I don't know why, but... Now obviously you've got the main way of going down it, which is down the steps, but... You've also got these different levels here. Like there's this lower one, which is longer, and this higher one, which is shorter. And this it's actually just a single ledge here. But it allows for some kind of gaps and other interesting things as well. So this, you've got a few different ways of actually going down this. Yeah, you need a bit of speed to manage that, but not too bad. Ooh. You shouldn't forget fakey stuff as well like half cab tricks i'm kind of into those at the minute i'm trying to like be aware of them to add them to what i do a bit more Ooh. oh dear Oof. Ah. Oof. Okay, <laughs> ended a bit weak. But yeah, you can also just straight up grind this and you don't need to like ollie out or anything. He will just clear it if you're fast enough. It also means you could do a grind to flip trick down as well. Okay, let's maybe try that next. Let's try 180, see what happens. He wouldn't even land it. Did he pull off that late shove? I know those are kind of broken, so you probably shouldn't expect much from them, but... Nope. I guess he got cancelled or something because he hit the ledge. Yeah, that was weird. Got to do more body varials thinking about it. 
Double flips. Another thing I thought of was there's this gap here. I don't know where you judge it from. Maybe like this. Going straight forward down to the bottom of the steps over there. You need a lot of speed, but I guess if you burn the ollie, you should make it. More speed. Ooh. Made it. You had to be at like max speed to be able to manage that. Did he clip? He did. Damn it. That's a pretty wild gap though. Ooh. He did like a weird skip, jump or something at the start of that. But I'll take it. Clean. I should probably get a clip of that. Thinking about it, there's kind of a ton of different gaps you can do around there. One eighty. Oh, it's clean. Okay. Ah. Another thing to think about is we've grinded this one, but what about grinding the bottom one? Like gapping over this into a grind on this ledge, if that makes sense. It's just open enough that we should be able to make it, so I think it's worth a try. I don't know about the speed though. Actually, yeah, getting over that's going to be a, a challenge. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. You've got to, you see, you have to like immediately sprint, then get the board down. Then you've got to do a boned ollie to get over because you barely make it. Like, that's inches. And you just get a little dab on it. Maybe not the most easy trick to manage. What about this side? Yeah, they're both pretty rough. Especially if you get from a diagonal angle. I don't know if you'd be able to like judge it properly. Still, it's a thing that we figured out, so I'll take it. Ooh, thinking about it. This little ledge is sticking out here. I'm not sure if this rail will get out in the way or anything, but avoid the rail. Just hit this ledge. That should be possible as well, maybe. Ooh. Little hint of a touch. That's about it, though. Like, bare minimum. Basically a bonk, right? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Gross. But I'll take it. Nice. No comply. Yeah, if you didn't know, there was a no comply mod. That got released a while ago, I guess. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of 360 flips because they feel really nice now. And I'm not getting laser flips for some reason. Yeah, the no comply mod, basically you go diagonal to the left with the right stick and then down. 
like you're doing a pressure flip, I think. I think it's pressure flip. It replaces that basically as an input. And it allows you to do no complies, which is pretty cool. Problem is, it's so diagonal as a trick that it's kind of hard to use it right. You've got to be really off angle to do anything with it. Looking at this the other way, can we also get up it as well? We can't get up the top part, that's obviously too much, but... Okay, just a standard... Ollie, which is at the default settings, I think, is enough to get you up. Hmm... Ooh, made it. Okay, I did need the extra reverb though. Yep, can get up that bit as well. Do something gross like that out of it. Okay, that took longer than expected. For some reason, like judging where to do the 360 flip to nose was, it was hard for whatever reason. Okay, thinking about going up it, we should probably try thinking about using those middle rails as well. Maybe we could get like a nose or tail slide on the middle rail up this bit somehow. I think it might be possible, but it's going to take a bit of luck. Tail slides may be hard as well. Ooh. I'll take it. I won't take that. Definitely one way of doing it. Ooh. Okay, I was not expecting that would ever work, like chance in hell, but it did. I'm amazed. Let's see, crooked. It did kind of clip at the end, but maybe depending on the angle, we can cover that. Sometimes these sort of tricks, they never come out as you expect. But with a bit of clever camera work, you can kind of mask the dodgy bits sometimes. Weird, look at that tree. Is that a field of view thing? Like, I have my settings on ultra and max, but even then, when it comes to distance, I guess... Actually, it's not fading away now. Is that just a weird effect? Maybe it's a glitch. There we go. I think we have the thumbnail for this video. A pretty interesting one. Again, it just goes to show with these spot session videos that if I don't spend the time to really dig into a specific section, I'd never find some of these tricks. I just sort of think, okay, it's a really short rail. It's kind of crappy. I'm just going to ignore it. That wouldn't... Well, that happens because I do these sorts of videos. So for you as well, if you're watching this, go pick a place and just like session it for 30 minutes or something try as many different angles and variations and see what comes out and you may be surprised i kind of want to grind up this as well but there's a pole in the middle and i don't think i want to try some weird double grind combo i don't think we'll get around that maybe down it like a tail slide to no slide or something would be pretty cool on this or maybe that's impossible we'll give it a go we'll see what happens I don't know if I'm going to have the speed, because you've got to let go. Then go back into the grinder position again, so that he flips straight, or turns straight, and then goes into another one, and then he has to avoid this bottom rail and getting out. I don't think that would be possible, but if somebody wants to try, please do, and let me know if you get it, because that would be nuts. That sort of thing is a very me spot as well. Like thin ledges, which you can just manual on, are always really fun. You can grind it a bunch of ways as well. You can grind it from the outside and maybe go over. Let's see if we can do something like that. OK, 
Okay. First try, it worked. I'm glad I remember the input for that. Kind of awkward. Super slow and kind of awkward backside flip. But this angle is perfect for those sort of tricks. Like the rail is just the right angle and height to be able to accommodate a bunch of over stuff. See how hard you can go with it. Like nolly things as well, maybe harder or fakey as well. Okay, not like that. It feels nice for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just because it's got a bit of a slope landing as well. I'm trying to do a bigger flip through this, but it keeps hitting no matter what I do. I'm not sure if it's. I may need to play around with my settings or something. Jank. Is that 540 in the end? No. One, two, yeah, it was 540. Those are the flattest things, so it's probably easiest to get through. Oh, we got a 360 flip at last. It did hit. I heard a noise somewhere, but I'm not going to complain too much because it's actually surprisingly a low rail. It doesn't... You could kind of forgive that physics-wise, like it hit the edge, but the momentum would keep it going around, so you just sort of make it. Yeah, I'll take that. I guess the same applies to these as well. These would be really hard to get through because there's quite a bit of an angle, and also they're extremely th like thin space-wise. Damn. Maybe you can. Or maybe the angle's too hard, but... Kinda made it. We just hit the steps, and then you'd hit the wall as well. So I'm not sure if it'll be doable up top. We could probably try it at the bottom, though. Hmm? What happened? Interesting. Another weird one. Wait. He turned, but then flipped back, I guess. Okay, I've been trying to kickflip instead, and it seems like this is more doable in a clean way. This wasn't clean, because it hit the step and also the rail, but... We've got a double heel flip through. Mm. Okay, I may save this for an edit or something else, it's taking so long. Okay, let's just see what happened with this one. This is one of the most awkward hippie flips I've had to do, I think. Just in terms of the angle and the speed and everything else, it's just a bit of a nightmare. Oh! Did we make it? I noticed flipping earlier actually helps because it stops where well, evens out the board when you get to this point, like this is the flattest point compared to like here. Yeah, we made it. At last. That took a while. At this point, we've covered a lot of things that I was thinking of. We've gone up, we've gone down. Not so much you can do sideways, I don't think. I guess... Like... The... Uh, Carlsbad spot. You can grind this ledge instead of the rail. 
which I don't know, you may be able to think of something interesting to do with that. A lot of these little ledges are grindable, which I don't know, it can lead to some fun stuff, or maybe go down and up. Like from the rail down to that ledge and things like that. I could also maybe do some tricks up this rail. And because there's this kink at the top, maybe use that as a launch point for like a flip trick or something. Yeah, we can get up it. Mm. Yeah, I wanted to feeble. But I guess that last kink bit kind of screws it up a little bit. Nice. Smooth. Ugh. I guess one more thing is maybe going up or down this. Like this ledge, we haven't utilised this at all. I don't know if you can grind it. Yes, you can. Interesting. Manual down it as well. You may have to do like a straight pop to land that into a manual or something. There you go. Trying too hard. Could you go up it as well, maybe? Hmm. I don't know what you do, but... Well, I guess that takes you straight to Carlsbad, right? There you go. You know, I think... I think that's about everything for this video. There may be more things, but obviously that's just the nature of it. You're never going to find everything. Possibilities are infinite. But yeah, it was a fun little session. A nice little technical one for a change. These different layers kind of made for an interesting setup. Next, I guess we'll have to go this way through to here. This seems like the next logical section. I don't know where we'll cut it off or anything, but fairly big. I don't know. We'll figure it out then. But there's still so much more of this to do. And I want to get through all of it. So it may be a very long-term project, actually. But I kind of want to cover this completely. And then I can go back to like the mall and the other maps. Because I didn't do spot sessions on those either. So tons of ideas for content for this coming going forward. And this is the most fun way to play the game, in my opinion. So... Uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, all the other stuff, and I'll see you next time.